everybody. I don't know if you can see, but there we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? I have adapted this tutorial into a pendant. And I know we're kind of getting a bit close to Christmas now, but if anybody did want one of the more detailed tutorials like we did with the rings, um, the paid for £5 on YouTube to put this together, then do let me know. It might be a nice little project to do over the festive period. You might even be able to work it out yourself from the tutorial and that's fine too. And this is what they look like. I have to confess they come out different every time I do them, but that's fine. It's quite rustic. Did you find it useful for those of you that watched in the intro, the fact that I put up there what materials you needed as well for this so in case you missed it we're working with 0.8 millimeter wire you can use one mil thick as well if you wish i wouldn't go any lower than 0.8 i am using the teardrop glass crystals that i've got bead strands for um i'm going to use four millimeter red bicams that are available in the group <clears throat> instead but these that I used originally are three millimeter fire polished for the weaving wire and also for the berries I've used 0.3. This is the pendant uh, for a simple pendant that I've done as well. But I, I love the colours. Let me take my necklace off and I'll just show you a close up of this one. There we are. So I've made the three and I've just wire wrapped them, then I've re-wire wrapped them at the top and joined them. So I rather like that. Now what you need in terms of tools is your usual pliers. If you're new to it, you are going to need your chain nose pliers, your round nose pliers, your side cutters and if you've got them your nylon tip pliers as well which they just remind me of hair straighteners very useful very useful for ironing out any kinks in your wire top tip for the night is to actually do earrings at the same time to do two at the same time it just makes it easier make sure that they're actually the same shape I have cut 18 centimetres of 0.8 millimetre wire. Now, get both ends together and you can either measure the halfway point or you can eyeball it. I'm using my chain nose pliers and I am making a bend. As you can see, I've got both of them together. I'm not zooming in too close at the moment because I find that if I zoom in too close, you can't really see much of the work that I'm doing, particularly when it's a slightly bigger project. Not hugely large, but you need to see quite a bit of it. Now, bring those out. And what I should have said is that I'm actually pinching the end of that to give that pointed shape at the bottom. The next thing is to get your round nose pliers. Now the turn is about 14 to 15 millimetres. I've got my round nose pliers in there. Let's just move that out of the way so you can see. And then try and get a similar measurement the other side. Copper is a really, really good one to work with to begin with. With silver plate, if you're quite new to using wire, it can be a little bit difficult because 
it's copper underneath and you could if you hack at it too much you can take away the surface whereas if you're using copper there's nothing to take off because that's what it is it's all copper through and through one centimeter from the curve Just bring that round. What you could always do as well is you could always print off a smaller holly leaf and just trace the shape with your pliers. As you can see, I am manipulating the wire using my fingers and using my pliers as well so don't worry too much about it being perfection the next little bit we're going to do is this top bit here push that against there like so and we're going to do the same it's just a little bit fiddly and just remember that nature is not perfect if it's too perfect it won't look very realistic now I've got one set of wires that way one set of wires that way but what we want to do is to bring the wires up to the middle because we need to wire wrap those now bringing that up and then we'll do the same with this one if you've got a hammer a nylon tipped hammer you might wish to use that to make it a little bit harder having a quick look making sure that they marry up with each other as well what we are going to do is add the green crystal and then these three here i've cut 40 centimeter length of 0.3 millimeter wire pop this at the halfway point we're at the halfway point and i'm bringing that up the back of the crystal and then I am going to wrap that around the top of the crystal to secure that in place so wrap that round a few times next I'm gonna pop that in here wrap once around one side and then bring those together and wrap once around the other side take your time just to get a tight attention on that this side we will keep to do our other crystals this side we're going to do the wire wrapping what I did with the wire wrapping is two wraps around one of the wires one two and then two wraps around both wires one two push it down and then I'm going to do two wraps on the other wire one two and then two full wraps if you have got a specific type of weave that you're really comfortable with then don't be frightened to stick with what you know round both and round the next two 
and then push that up. You don't need too much weave but we need a little bit more than we've got already. I find it a little bit difficult to see clearly this time of night and I would probably have a daylight lamp. But please do pop any questions you've got in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know if you've got any ideas as to what you can use this for. You know, have you got other things in mind that you could create this into? And we will finish that little bit of weave. And what we will do next, we will do our little berries. And to do the berries, have about a centimetre of wire either side with the bead in the middle. Clamp it one end and then twist and do the same maybe even vary it and have one of them slightly longer maybe the middle one and twist be careful not to over twist as well the reason being is if you over twist, what will happen is because it's really fine wire, it will snap. You can either use to make it curly, the berry stems, you can either use a cocktail stick or you can use a darning needle. It's a darning needle. Pop the darning needle by the side and just use that to create some shape. There's not a huge amount to work with. Now you could obviously have more if you want to, more wire if you want to create more of a curve. Use that wire to anchor a few times around the base where you started and as I've mentioned before in tutorials always make sure that you cut your wires at the front and that way there's no loose wires that are likely to be against your skin. I would be inclined to cut one of those off. You can always loop it round the back and then like you would a head pin have a centimeter from the end of the wire turn at an angle and then loop back Cut this little bit off here. I'm going to totally cut that off. Open up the loop and pop that in there and close that up. So there we have your earring. Let's do this one as a pendant. Still the same amount of wire to cut. Really interested, how have you all done? It and how many of you have done craft fairs this year and how have you done what have you found that's been best sellers for you but it's just interesting to know often what you think's gonna go doesn't does it 
and it's always the most unlikely the unlikely thing sometimes don't you think What we will do now is just turn that part at the back. I'm going to cut those level, round nose pliers, and we're going to turn that underneath. It's up to you how big you want the loop. It doesn't matter what size that one's quite tiny that one's quite big i've got the weave going around the back on this one with that one it's pretty much just the raw wire the other thing you could do as well is you can manipulate the shape a little bit either inwards or outwards by just bending against your fingers and the only thing I find about copper is they can be really, really difficult to marry something up to match. I personally think that brown leather would go quite nicely with this one. I also think ribbon, organza ribbon or a ribbon would be quite nice with ribbon ends on there as well. What we've done tonight is we've done that one and we've done the earring. You can also have them a bit smaller, which were like the samples as well. These are the 4mm bicones, which are really, really cheap in the group thread. These are the 3mm fire polished. I think either are absolutely fine. And that's your other pendant as well. Let me know if you give them a go and do be sure to share them in our Beaders of Beads by Vichil Facebook group. I will see you very soon. I hope you enjoy and take care. Bye.